everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want you to come along with me as I clean and decorate our dining room for Christmas. Today is the Christmas DIY and decor challenge day. So every couple of months I put out a challenge for all of my fellow YouTubing friends to post a DIY or decor video based on a theme. This time it is Christmas, so if you're taking part in the challenge, make sure to add your video to the playlist that I set up for you. I'm gonna link down to it below. And if you're not part of the challenge, make sure to click on that playlist and see all of the other videos. You're gonna get tons of fantastic Christmas decor and DIY ideas, and I I can't wait to watch them all. Today I thought I would ask you to come along with me as I clean and decorate our dining room for the Christmas season. As per usual, I started with hopefully what I was hoping for, like a minimal, almost scandy, just a subtle Christmas look, but like usually happens with me, I added layers and layers and it's a little bit more overdone and of course a little bit more romantic than maybe I had wanted, but I love it. So if you like that kind of thing, I hope you enjoy this Decorate With Me. So I'm starting by cleaning our light fixture. Oh man, it gets so dirty. So I have to vacuum out the light fixture part and then I'm taking a damp cloth and wiping the rest of the fixture. It feels so good to get it done though and I really do try to do it seasonally because it definitely gets dirty. Now comes the task of organizing the table. It's kind of become a drop zone after the last uh, couple months. I've been doing a lot of fall DIYs and Christmas DIYs and bringing things in and out of my studio and kind of dropping them here. So I use this hutch or this side table in the back of the dining room as storage for a lot of my serving ware and my cheese boards and things like that. Now I'm doing the tree in here. So I got this flocked tree from Canadian Tire last year. I love it in this room because it's nice and thin. So I thought it was a great piece for this room. I'm putting some wired ribbon in here just using my regular ribbon method where I loop it in and out of the tree. This ribbon was from Canadian Tire as well. And then I'm adding some faux berry picks into the tree to give it some texture and some fullness. These ones were also from Canadian Tire last year. I found these poinsettia picks from Dollarama here in Canada for only $3 and I thought they were so pretty. I love the rose gold color and the really nice generous size of these. I only added three to the tree and I think they made such a beautiful impact. Now I'm adding some metallic ornaments to the tree. So I found these glass pine cones at Costco three or four years ago. I'm adding some beautiful gold ones to the tree as well as the sort of coppery brown ones. The theme in here I'm going for is just a really neutral metallic theme, but I thought it would be fun to add in a few aqua colored ornaments to match the paint color here, which is Distant Valley by Valspar. I love how it kind of subtly ties in the paint color. Now I'm putting some faux greenery on my light fixture. I'm just attaching it with floral wire and I also put a wired ribbon bow on top of the fixture as well. I did this a couple years ago in here and I really like how it adds a little bit of a festive touch higher up in the room. I love these command hooks for Christmas. I use them often in my Christmas decor. So I'm putting these on the board and batten here just above my side table. And I thought it'd be fun to hang these stockings here. Now I made these a few years ago. I will leave a link to the sewing tutorial and the free pattern down in the description box below that is on my blog. Then I'm just kind of organizing this side table and then I'm going on to the table. So I'm going to use my vintage cane chairs on either end of the table and then my painted metal chairs on the sides. For the centerpiece, I just used some fresh greenery I found at the grocery store and then I had these sort of mercury glass looking trees from Costco for quite a few years now. Giving the table a good wipe and then I'm going ahead and vacuuming our carpet. This is a new carpet we got in partnership with The Brick in the fall. You might remember that video where we did kind of a dining room refresh. I love the vibrant colors on it. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to keep the colors of our Christmas decor in here nice and neutral. And no, I do not always vacuum in my Christmas dress. I was just happening to be filming some video intros in here. Uh, for the centerpiece, I also added these beautiful fairy lights. I love the wired fairy lights because you can loop them up and down and around and they add so much texture and beauty to centerpieces. 
I'm also adding a faux greenery Dollarama branch. I loved this little subtle guy with the white berries and I'm kind of winding this in and around the mercury glass trees. It's always a nice idea to combine faux greenery and real greenery because you get the beautiful smell of the real and then you get the faux which is a little bit more affordable because you can use it year after year. For the individual play settings, I'm using these white textured chargers from Michaels a few years ago, my simple white plates, as well as these Dollar Tree salad plates. I loved these and the beautiful metallic was so nice and they were only $1.25 here in Canada, which was such a great way for me to update my Christmas decor on a budget. I made these linen napkins um, several years ago. I will link to the tutorial on my blog down in the description box below. I'm placing them between the dinner plate and the salad plate, and I think they look so pretty. A simple gold ornament on each setting just adds a nice little touch, and then I'm adding my gold flatware. I found this on Amazon a couple years ago, and I think it looks so pretty for the holidays. So that's my very simple setting. I think it looks lovely and just subtle. And I love how I'm just using my base of white plates and white napkins, which I think are such a great basic for everybody to have. And then just adding a couple of inexpensive elements to make them more festive. Now I'm lighting up some little candles. I used, I found these votive holders a few years ago, can't remember where, but I know you can get similar ones at Dollarama. I found these green glasses at Value Village, six for $6, loved the gold rims on them. And here is how our Christmas dining room turned out. I'm so pleased with it. I think it is, just feminine and lovely. I love how it's mostly neutral, but we have those pops of green in the Christmas tree ornaments and the thrifted glasses, as well as the real greenery. I like how it coordinates with the rug, but it doesn't overpower the rug. I feel like it's still festive because it has all the metallic touches and the stockings and the Christmas tree, but it is just a little bit feminine. Even though there's no pink in it, that rose gold makes it a little bit feminine, as well as all the twinkly lights. I love the little bits of silver and the mixed metallics make it just feel so festive and sparkly. I think it's so great when I'm able to reuse what I have when I can and then just update it with a couple of inexpensive things like these poinsettias from Dollarama as well as the thrifted glasses and the plates on the table from Dollar Tree. I think this side table looks so nice with those dollar store DIYs like the countdown calendar, the tiered tray, the snowflakes, and the faux fur tree. I'll make sure to link to that video down in the description box below if you want to learn how to make those things. They're such a nice addition. I also have my coffee bar still over here. So my 10 year old daughter styled the left of this, which looks so much better than my coffee station. I think I might want to try to do a coffee station styling just for Christmas and I'll try to post that here if I have a chance. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to use this room to celebrate Christmas with my family this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below what you think of our Christmas dining room for 2019. I would love to know. Don't forget to add your video to the playlist if you're taking part in the Christmas DIY and decor challenge today and make sure to watch all of the other videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. I would love for you to join the DIY mommy family. Thanks again for watching and I'll leave some more videos that I hope you'll love right up here.